space engineers. All right. Well, I spent a good bunch of time here between episodes using this miner with its 12 drills and so on. Coming up with a lot of material. I actually made like four trips mining up resources because what I did was, see, I went in here to the command seat and on the control panel I temporarily would turn the assembler off. And you see, there's a thing with the assembler. Normally it defaults to this view right here for components. But you can go over here to small ship blocks or over here to large ship blocks. And of course there's tools for your character as well. But uh, what I did was I went over here and there's a thing here. Say for example you want a conveyor sorter. You click that and it puts all the components necessary in the production queue. And if you want a hundred conveyor sorters, shift click that and you've got all the components queued up for a hundred conveyor sorters. And so I went through this. I've got two ships that I want to build. And I used this mechanic to queue up all of the components necessary to build both of them. And then I went and turned the assembler back on. And it started making those things. As you may notice, I have quite a lot of things that have been made. And they're all stored right in here. And uh, now... I'm going to get busy using them. Let me get some steel plate. So that I can build out a little bit of framework here to do it with. Let's see. So I'm just going to build a frame out here. And then on the end of this frame... I'm going to build a projector and use that to project the blueprint the ship that I want to build. Let's see. G menu. Yeah, here we are. Projector. Bang. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, that is incorrect. this way. And on the projector, up is the cross piece there. Yeah. And front is there. There, in front there, there. That's right. Now all I have to do is finish up this construction, this uh, projector, and load in the first blueprint. So I'm going to get this thing finished up, and I'll be right back. All right. Now that the projector is finished, and I put a little control panel here for convenience to operate it. Projector, blueprint, and let's see, I want this one. And now let's see, I need to move this thing, I'd say up about two blocks. Projector, let's see. Let's keep the projection vertical offset two. All right, now I need to go get some steel plates so I can put a block there on top of the projector because the projector needs to have 
some physical connection to the first buildable spot on the projection. So right there. Okay, great. Now, okay, this is the ship I'm going to be building. This is a modified version of a welder ship that I built some time ago on live stream. This one is utilizing the twin welders, which they have a larger reach than the vanilla ones. And it seems to my render distance is terrible here. I'm going to have to see if I can adjust that. But uh, right now, one more change to the projector. Show only buildable. You see right here it's showing what components are going to need to be built. 19 armor, one connector, small connect, small car containers, twin welders, and so on and so forth. All right. Now, all I need to do is weld up each of these components, which is going to mean a lot of back and forth to this cargo container to get the stuff it's going to need to do that. It's taken quite a while, an awful lot of trips back and forth to the cargo container to bring stuff out here, but this welding ship is finally complete. And I've also taken the time to set up the cargo containers with the uh, bits there for the automatic inventory thing. All I need to do now is first up I need to go get a bit of uranium to power this thing with until it can get docked up and reload itself completely. But for that, one uranium should be enough. And now I just need to, uh, well, first get a hold of, get into this ship. And disconnect, pull it forward, and move it up out of the way. Because, frankly, once my next ship building project is done. I hope very much to not have to use that mining ship ever again. But, alright, we stop down here. Toss a bit of uranium into the reactor. And then head over here and cut this connecting block. Alright, it is now a free-flying ship. Alright, yeah. Wait a yeah. Let's get lined up in the right direction here. Because it needs to connect I can do this without damaging the welders. Uh, 
connector may have to be moved out a little ways. As a matter of fact, how about I go ahead and do that? Probably going to need some. Well, I'm going to need that. And it's going to be steel plate, construction component, and small steel tubes and motors. And now just weld these things up, and I should be able to connect to it a whole lot better. With a whole lot less risk of bashing the drills into the asteroid. I may need to extend this thing out a little further, but it should do for now. In fact, I almost certainly will have to extend it out further before the mining ship will be able to dock at it. The mining ship that I haven't built yet. Connected. Bang. Now we have look at the inventory. Now these things are set to have higher priority than the containers on the space station. And bam. Components are loaded. And if I take a look at uh, reactor inventories, they should also be set. Okay, I've got them set to 20, and there's like 23 in each. And they're taking... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Conveyor off. I forgot to turn the conveyor off. Yeah, that's an important thing. You turn the conveyor off. Otherwise, it's going to keep sucking down parts. Okay. Now, that means... Then I can now disconnect, move this thing out of the way, and the reason it's got four small thrusters facing in each direction, except for aft where there's one large thruster, is because this ship, when fully loaded, is going to have a lot of mass and therefore a heck of a lot of inertia and it's actually going to need all that thrust all right here we are now let's get set up apparently i seem to have dropped a few things here huh. in any event down here And projector, set up a new blueprint to work with, and this one is going to be a favorite of mine. Okay. Oh, of course. I have it set to show buildable only. Show the whole thing. And let's offset it about two. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. OK, 
Okay, it's intersecting the rock right here, or the uranium ore. That won't do for construction, so we'll offset that a little bit more. Vertical offset, say, to 5. That works just great. Let's see, I have some steel plates, so I can go ahead here. Put some armor blocks. And now let's go ahead and set this down to show buildable only. You can see here there is a lot of stuff that goes on this baby. This ship, when complete, will have a array of seven by a seven by seven array of large ship drills and a whole crap ton of cargo and so on. Okay, and welders on. And just a teensy bit more here, yeah. This will still take quite a while to do, but because of the way I got everything set up, I shouldn't have to make any additional trips for components. I'm just going to have to uh, change the angle I'm working from occasionally. Welding job is done, and now all I need to do is grab some uranium to power its reactors. I'll just pop 20 in each, and after this, this should be a lot more cooperative. Unless, of course, I've messed up the automatic inventory thing, which would not be entirely impossible for me to do. All right, reactors are go. Disconnect the ship from the station. Now, 
hook into to get into this thing. And there's a perfect place to mine right there. So let's see. Move out from the asteroid a little bit. That'll be good. That'll be good right there. down a little bit. Drills on. Inertia dampening off. And tap forward for 0 0.3 meters per second. And then we let that we let this thing do its job. And it will now drill a nice long straight square hole straight through this asteroid, picking up loads of uranium and iron and whatever else is there. Massing one point two million kilograms at start. This ship will be able to mine an enormous amount of material in reasonably short order. And here we are about uh, 20 minutes or so later. Turn the drills off. And a nice neat hole has been drilled straight through the asteroid. And now that I'm clear of it, I can go ahead and accelerate a little bit to get the ship totally clear of the asteroid. The ship's mass is currently at 6,800 tons, a metric ton being 1,000 kilograms. So, yeah, we're carrying a lot. And, yes, a lot of that, if I look in here and show cargo inventories, there is an enormous amount of uranium, there is some iron, and yes, there's a lot of stone. However, if I have a look around here, the stone is being ejected. There are four conveyor sorters and four connectors on the aft end of the ship. And the conveyor sorters are set to whitelist stone to go through those aft-facing connectors and ejecting it. Okay. Dampeners on. And uh, another thing the ship has that I added to it sometime uh, after the uh, last time I used this ship on a stream is I added uh, an oxygen generator to the design. However, this one does not currently have any ice in it. And so my next stop is going to be to head up to one of these asteroids over there, one of the small ones, and mine some ice, along with mining healthy amounts of everything else I can find. moving slowly and carefully because this thing is big and it has a lot of inertia and it takes a lot of everything to stop. Yeah, that's what that banging is. Stone being ejected and hitting hull. Now, let's see. I do believe there's ice right over there. 
Yeah. So I'm going to get in position. I'm going to go through this one and pick up all the ice that I can, as well as iron and magnesium. All right. Let's just line right up with the ice for the first pass and proceed forward at 0 0.2. May seem a bit slow, but with a ship this heavy, you don't really want to get accelerating too fast unless you know you've got lots of room to slow down. Especially since the inertial dampener change from being 10x to 1x. Having mined through all of that ice, you'll notice now in the upper left, in the mid left, I guess, it says oxygen high. The ship's oxygen generator now has an ample supply of ice, and that means that I am no longer absolutely dependent on carrying bottles of oxygen for this ship. And now, It's time for the magnesium. Dampeners off. Thrust forward. 0 0.2 meters per second. And that will be ample. Right, I am doing very good here. I've got 7.7 .7 million kilos of, of cargo on board. And if I hide the empty ones, there's a little bit in one drill, and the rest of it is, well, the cargo containers are loading up with lots. There's still several of them with ice, 
even though uh, the oxygen generator is full of ice, 108,000 kilos of ice. So, yeah, that's going to be great. And what I'm going to do now is proceed around the little moonlit asteroids and the big one, and maybe a few remote ones, and mine up large quantities of pretty much about everything and then set that stuff to refining and next time we'll get going with some larger scale construction thanks for watching take it easy i'm out of here